In Simulator for Arduino version 1.03, the major change is the addition of Updater. This is a tool from a third-party vendor and it allows the user to check for updates. Select from the menu Help and then check for updates to see this dialog window. Click Check for updates to see if a new update is available. Now the good part is you don't have to do any of this since the simulator will silently do all this on startup and only alert if there is a new update. Other changes are some fixes to the font sizes, to the variables area and the edit sketch. The Windows 10 skin is now fixed and a few more skins added. For the latest test sketches, have a look inside the sim underscore test folder for the latest software version. We do rely heavily on users' feedback, so if there are any issues, please email us or even better, log it to the forum. The forum was recently reset due to a web server upgrade. In Simulator for Arduino version 1.04, we have improved several features. First, the variables area now has the column sizing back. We have improved the class explorer, and if we load the menu system example, we can see there are six objects loaded. We can sort these by selecting the individual classes or select star to show all objects. With this simulator, this has been around for several years and some of the features have appeared in other programs. We were the first to add a feature to display the ADC numbers as vaults like this. A new Arduino example sketch appeared just after called Read Analog Voltage. With the tools, after we introduce a serial logger, the Arduino IDE now sports a serial plotter, which is a very handy tool. We also saw this new simulator Uno Ard Sim. This seems to work well, but let's try it on some of our test sketches, such as button 7. Well, this doesn't even load. With the MIDI sketch, there is some issue with the serial board rate. Multi Serial Mega also doesn't load. Test underscore Hilo does something strange. Test1 underscore error check also is weird and test2 underscore loop checks doesn't load. With the serial monitor there is no COM port. This is a free program and could be useful in a limited way but Simulator for Arduino is a much more advanced program and has taken a lot more effort, which is why the Pro version has a price. With the Simulator tool, Serial Monitor, this is a fully functioning serial terminal and there is also the ability to pipe real serial data into or out of the simulator. Finally, we rely on our users to find bugs and provide feature requests so please keep sending the emails in or post to the forum.